Good evening, my name is Modi Aparandis and welcome back to RimWorld. We're back at the colony of Amity Beach and we have a bit of an issue at our doorstep today. We got this psychic drone part here. Psychic drone level is low right now. It's going to get worse as we go. Now, I don't know. I mean, we have we have some time before it gets really bad. But these things, when you let them go, they get real bad. Um, it's already been going for half a day already. It's going to take at least another day to get this built up. Um, the wall here, I think the wall is going to have to wait. The wall might be too ambitious. Um, let's cancel this part of it. If we can get these sandbags set up at least, I'll be satisfied with that. Before the drone gets really, really bad. And get the turret set up. If we can get those three things set up, we might have the firepower to deal with it. Kaelson's got the nice minigun. Brandon's got a good, good dead eye shot with his, uh, his, uh, survival rifle. So maybe we can get it going here. If we can get these three sandbags around here built. Provide some cover. We have no idea what's going to be in there, though. It could be like a four scythers. It could be a couple of explosive centipedes. I mean, anything, anything beyond just one is probably gonna be too much. Cargo pods. Let's see what we got here. Cargo pods and meat. All right. Well, that's great and all. Down with other colony here. I guess I can go send Grumpy to grab that stuff before it spoils. Grumpy, what are you working on now? Taking a simple meal. Okay. And relaxing socially. And yeah, I guess I'll let you do that. Get your, get your mood. I mean, mood's going to be super important here now. And uh, Grumpy's one of the few people that actually has a good mood. Long John, can I have you haul this stuff quick here? All the meats in. I just want it to go bad. Oh, get the cougar away from it. Yeah, get the cougar. Shoo, shoo, get out of there, kitty. Eat the other stuff you want. Uh, where did Grumpy go now? Hauling berries to stockpile. Okay. What are you working on? Oh, I'm going to cancel, also cancel these, uh... Let's stop working on this stuff right now. Alright. If you get these three things done, the sandbags, the turret, and... Yeah, that, that should be enough. We'll have to go with it. And we'll need all hands on deck again, even though some of these people can't attack, they're just kind of dead weight, unfortunately. Um... I'm not even going to worry about the meat. The meat's not a priority. The, the walls are. So get that done first, guys. Sandbags are going to be a bigger priority. Steel for sandbags. Okay. Do we have enough steel for the turret? At this point, I don't know if we do. No, okay. No, we got 96 left. It's not quite enough. Unless there's some that's not in the stockpile yet. Missing about half. And there's, no, there's 96 still in there. Okay, maybe, maybe there's enough. It's hard to say when they're carrying stuff out. It'll be enough. Now it's down 21. That should be enough. Um, but still need components. No, it still needs some more steel. Might not be enough. All right, we might need some mining done then. Uh, let's make sure this is set up for mining. Mine that out here quick. And we're missing. Three components, we have that. Don't have that either. There were some components up here that we can use, so we can grab those when we need to. McDaniels is gonna go have a rest. Meanwhile, there's everybody else. I hear mining. Blinking of some kind. And breakdown for the steel and press turret. Which one? Okay. Only components for it to fix that. Oh, here's some metal. Oh, that's plenty. Okay. Well, uh, we're probably not going to need this one, but yeah, all the components for that, I guess. And I need somebody else to work on. Where's Brandon? Kales is working on it, right? Kales is working on it, carrying some steel over. I just need components still. Preparations. It's gonna make the difference here, though. I think. Actually, this, there's a high probability that this turret is gonna get blown up immediately too. But I think we gotta deal with this drone sooner than later. There's all kinds of nasty stuff these things can do to you. 
Aside from just the increasing mood debuff as you go along here too. Oh, we also need to make some power for this. Grab that part. Uh, so we'll go like this. Like this and like this. Oh, we don't have enough for that? Well, things. Okay. Well, there was enough back at the other mine there though. You guys are probably mining stuff you don't need to mine. There's metal sitting right over here. Can I have somebody haul that quick? Uh, let's see. Long John, can you go haul this quick? I'll steal over so people know it's there. There you go, grab some of that, so they know it, know everything can be worked on then. Now, Brandon knows the deal. Don't get a meal, okay. Maybe there's enough already there. There we go. Cool. Get it done. A local boom rat has gone mad. Okay, who do we got? Where is it? Oh, it's right there, okay. Uh, we gotta stop this thing before it gets too close here. Let's grab both of you guys. Shoot her! Shoot her! Oh god, now you're gonna blow it up right now? Why would you do that? Brandon, now you decide to shoot? No, you can't arrest... No, put the fires out. Put the fire out, please. Alright. That could've gone... worse. Alright. Now we gotta fix this back up again, though. I'm sure that, uh... Yeah. Oh, there's, it'll make it actually still. Free boomerang, I guess. Ah, Brandon. Now we have to wait for Kaelson to get healed up before we can actually do this thing here. Couple of burns. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. We can still, we can survive the couple of burns. Um, the question is, do we want to give the minigun to Brandon? Because Brandon's a better shot. Someone said in the comments that it's does make a big difference to have somebody that's more accurate. Um, let's take a look here quick and see what his accuracy is. His accuracy is... Aiming time. Shooting accuracy is 77%. That's for Haleson. Shooting accuracy for him is... 88%. So it's actually 80%, not 88. It's not that different, actually. So it's probably the same. I'll, I'll go with the slower weapon for uh, McDaniel then. And Kaelson was a little bloodied, but gonna be fine. All right, Brandon. Did I grab McDaniel before? I was thinking he was looking like the wrong person, right? Yeah, okay, his accuracy is 97%. Okay, that, that is a difference. I was looking at McDaniel for some reason instead of instead of uh, Kaelson. So Kaelson, uh, switch guns, switch uh, equip the great bow here. And then Brandon equip that. We'll do like a little switcheroo here. We want a great bow for you? Does that help? It's an excellent great bow. Um, what's the damage on that? Damage is 18 with a better range on it, probably, than the, uh, the survival rifle, maybe? Let's see what this one is. Damage on this is 18. 37, so about the same. Accuracy at short and medium range is 100%. At long range, it's 94. So we gotta get the medium short to short range and the touch it. So there's a perfect range for that. Where's the range for this guy? What's the range for that? Let's see here quick. This one does well at like touch, okay. So 40% of the short range is the best. Being short range with mechs though is a bit of an issue. I guess the short, short range would probably be like here maybe. Okay, so let's say medium range is here, short range is here. So we'll put one, one person here, Brandon will be here with the minigun. And we'll put uh, Kaelson over here with the with the survival rifle maybe. And then what we'll do is have some melee guys waiting their wings in case it's a scyther. And then we can send them in to deal with the, the, the melee on those guys. Uh, do we have everybody equipped with melee? You've got your knife, okay. And how's your mood doing? The uh, McDaniel is a little more uh, hypersensitive to this, so we have to pay attention to that. Uh, Long John can't attack. Phoebe is in a brawler, I think, though. We don't have really a good weapon for you, though, is the problem. Let's see. There's a poor club over here. Not the best weapon. A lot of bones. Here was this one. 
awful. Okay, never mind. Anything else? The body. Poor club. Okay, we'll give you grab the poor club. All right. A oh, brain is mine. I think we're ready. I think we're just wasting time at this point now. So let's let's let everybody take one last rest here, maybe. And eclipse. Okay, that's fine. We don't need power for today. And we also have the geothermal here, anyways. So everything's gonna keep running along. We we'll probably need another battery here soon. That'll be after the battle here, though. We're nearly researched on machining, also. I think that's what we're working on, right? Machining, yeah. So once we get that, we'll take these mechs out of here and we'll have tons, tons of metal. Okay, grumpy. Um, let's speed through the night here quick and let Grumpy do their thing. Hopefully nothing else bad happens. And then at first light, I guess after breakfast, we'll have everybody attack. Actually, we'll wait. We'll take a look and see. Maybe we can attack before breakfast. Before, uh, as soon as the rest gets full on one of these guys, we'll have them wake up. We'll draft him out of bed and start waking people up. Where does Kaelson live? Oh, Kaelson's in the medical wing. Okay. Kaelson will be fine in the morning. Second crew on low, zero. Are you not affected by it? Psychically deaf. No, oh, that's cool. Kaelson's gonna be a rock here. Alright, so that'll be good to know. Alright. Long just taking one last sleep out here. Brandon, are you are you uh rested up here? You're just about rested up. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of bed. McDaniel, you're ready to go too. Kaelson's been ready. Kaelson's ready to go here for sure. Uh, can I have you eat? You're hauling right now. Okay, let's slow this down a little bit here quick. I want to see what's going on. Okay, grumpy. You're tired, but we could use you in the battle here. So I think we'll let you fight. All right, let's get start getting people in position here. I'll put some people over here. Um, let Brandon eat his last meal. Okay, Brandon, I'm gonna draft you and put you here for the short range attack. Kaelson, how you doing? I would love for you to go eat a meal. I'm gonna force you to go eat. McDaniel, how you doing? You're good. Okay, I'm gonna let you put over here. I'm gonna put you both. I'm gonna put one of you here and one of you here, just in case it's explosive. I don't wanna have you guys too close together. So I'm gonna kinda of spread out. And meanwhile, Phoebe. Or I mean uh, uh is uh Oh, that's right. I was gonna rename Phoebe. I forgot about that. Uh Phoebe is supposed to be renamed today. Um, I did do the I did do the random number generator to pick, pick a name from the hat. Uh, we need to rename Phoebe as the Vintage. So that was the name from the hat. If you want to get your name added to the colony, just go to the comments or not the comments, but the description, and follow the link to uh, add your name to the list. There's about 40 names there right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, get your name in there if you want to join up. I mean, I don't know how much longer the colony is going to go. We could be done tomorrow at this point if this this, this goes south here. Okay, Kaelson is, is over in the fields here. Now. Oh, grab your survival rifle. I'd rather you have had that. Um, we have a better survival rifle place? I can't remember what there was. That's poor. Shoddy. Can't remember. Good spears. Okay, I think that is it. Good one is what we need. All right, grab that, and then we'll get you on the way. And then actually, I'm gonna have you guys hang back, even though you can't attack. I want to have. I don't want you guys running all over creation because, well, I mean, advantage, advantage could attack. And Grumpy, what are you doing? No, I need you to stay where you were. Uh, okay, so where's are we going? McDaniel's there. Kaelson. Just had you. I just had you. Where'd you go? Oh, there's Kaelson. Alright, put you here. On that corner there. Alright. So I want you guys hanging out close. A group of travelers are passing by. Where where are they gonna be? They're over there. Okay, we're not gonna be in this fight, unfortunately. I'd love to put them in harm's way for this, but. Okay, Brandon is undrafted too. What is going on here? 
All right, here we go. I think they might undraft themselves when they're sitting for too long. Okay, so I'm gonna undraft you, but restrict you to uh, area one here. All right, are we ready for this? Opening shots from Brandon. I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Let's do it. Oh, we got two scythers, okay. This is good, McDaniel get in here. Um, and Grumpy get in here. We get two on one, that'd be perfect. So I'm gonna have you melee attack him. You melee attack him. Other two of you guys work on. Okay, there we go, Brandon. There you go, get in, get in close, get in close. Okay, you're out of harm's way, it's perfect. Actually, I want you to stop firing now. Um, go over here, quick. <gasps> what did you do? Brandon! What did you do? Let's see if that shot was from Brandon. <sighs> yeah, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you uh, shot him in the lungs. Great, great accuracy, buddy. Go over here. Go out of the arms way here, quick. Oh god, Brandon might die here too. Okay. Let now... McDaniel, I'm gonna back you up behind this. Brandon, you attack the ship here now. Every single one of those shots should land. Damn, we lost, we lost Kaelson. Oh, Grumpy, we lost Grumpy. Oh, Grumpy. I'm sorry, you were great. Kaelson's over here, safe and sound. Okay, now you're now you're in now you're in harm's way here. Let's get you guys safe and get this uh, shoot this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one more time, and I'm gonna send I'm gonna send McDaniel in there after this. Get yeah, one more shot. One more round. Okay, go. And I'm gonna have you uh, go over here then. Quick, don't fire at it. There you go. Go, 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 go. Don't do attack, don't you attack. Undraft. Oh, don't you do anything, please. Don't you go, just go over here, please. Go, go out of the way. Just get him, just get him. McDaniel, get him, get him, get him. Oh my God, we did it. Oh. One casualty. One casualty. And actually, Brandon, that one's on you, buddy. You're stripping Grumpy down. And you are burying, you're digging a hole yourself for Grumpy. That is, that is the rule. Prior to burying Grumpy, yeah. Oh, Brandon. I guess that's the risk I take. I There's no good way to deal with that, that minigun, I guess. We had to like be really on top of, I didn't even think about it. We had to be really on top of, uh, really on top of where he we was firing to. Uh, let's leave this where it is. Um, this is so much value to it. If we add it to the stockpile, it's going to send us skyrocketing. Um, McDaniel's visiting the grave. Brand, did you bury it? Oh, you did bury it. Here. Bear away? Where's the new body? Grumpy bear. You're in the potter's field, unfortunately, Grumpy. We can't, we can't, uh, we don't have a sarcophagus for you or anything like that. But we survived. We survived. Where's Kaelson going here? And actually, Kaelson is not uh, too bad at off here. And the only person that really got hit is McDaniel, who did most of the work. McDaniel was the real hero today. Brandon's kind of the villain. Killing Grumpy like that, our main researcher. Luckily, we have somebody to replace them. I mean, most most of most of the duties that that uh, the grumpy was doing, the vintage can do now too. Um, farming being the one thing that they were doing that that nobody else can do except for Long John, though. So we still have the farmer, we still have the researcher, we still have everything covered. It's just you know, it was nice to have two people working on farming. Now we got one. Everyone's gonna be really sad. Are we uh, have the debuff on for death of a uh, witness to allies death? Yeah, everyone's got that going on. And the you know the plus side is that Grumpy was not well liked by anybody as far as I remember. Uh, we don't have any uh, 
history for that, but as far as I remember, Grumpy was living up to Grumpy's name there. Um, and not being well liked among the colony. So, that was alright. Uh, who needs treatment? McDaniel, get some rest McDaniel, okay. Let's see, is there an open bed over here? Unowned. Let's set this as medical. And we'll have you go sleep in it. I guess this is Grumpy's old bed, probably. Probably. Oh my god. Our first, is that our first colonist that we've lost? I don't think it is. We've lost we've lost some people before. I'll finish making the meal and then go get some rest. You're losing a lot of blood. You're bleeding everywhere. McDaniel, go go actually before you even finish that, go go rest. And Kale some provide treatment. I'd rather you provide treatment than go mine something. Because, I mean, McDaniel's losing a lot of blood. I can't risk infection and I can't risk uh I don't want to risk infection, especially in this dirty room like this. I don't want to risk infection. I don't want to risk um, bleeding out here. So go, please. Please now, go. And Vintage is going to take care of all of the blood. Works perfectly. Are you bleeding? No, good. Good. There's some good stuff over there. Oh, yeah. Help up Brandon. Okay, so Brandon's not too, too good either here. He's losing a lot of blood. Holy cow. Is Long John a good doctor? Not great. Can you do it? Alright, poor result. 65%. Oh boy. A couple of bad hits for Brandon. Charge lances. They're deadly, man. They're deadly. Poorly bandaged. Okay, not bleeding anymore. Might get infected. Because it was poorly bandaged. And how is that McDaniel fair? Good bandaging and poorly bandaged. Okay, that's not bad. Again, not not much as much risk for infection there. Now we really got to get the uh, researching done though, so we can get all these mechs turned into metal, and we can really build the colony up here. Okay, so actually now that we have this built, this turret might have to stay where it is. We might want to start build thinking about like a kill box based around this turret. Um, maybe we want to start thinking about that. Let's start let's start planning on some walls here. So, okay, this is the back side of it. Um, there's a snowman in the middle of the desert here. Uh, so, we go like this. Is that enough room? We go like this. Not steel, though. We yeah, don't have a lot of steel. We'll use the marble. How about that? Go like this. Is that too big of a kill box? This might be too small. Optimally, it would be like this. Like this, probably. Infestation. Uh, okay, Cassandra's in the mode of piling on, I think, at this point. A bug hive has emerged. It will slowly spawn bugs as well as produce additional hives. If you don't want it to infest the whole area, you must muster your forces and destroy it, but beware the bugs will defend their hive. Oh, good. Reproduces in one day, 16 hours. So we have one day to get in there before it reproduces. Insect jelly is 20. And the bugs will defend their hive. But luckily it's in this area here with a lot of turrets. So we can take care of the bugs with that. Then we need to send somebody in with a, like a grenade or something like that to destroy the hive. All right, is everybody healed up? McDaniel's not. But will be soon. All right, we have, we have some time though. Okay, this is just a plan though. Um, of a kill box. And what we would do then is put like a. Uh, where's my planning tools? We would put like a turret here. Turret here. No. Here. We'd mine this out. So there's. Then we'd have a turret here. You have no place to stand. We need, we need six turrets for this one, like that maybe. And then like having an opening like here maybe and having it sealed off to the rest of the colony somehow. Um, yeah, that's the big thing is getting the whole colony sealed off though for a kill box to work. That is the real key. We might be better off just placing turrets around the area too like we did over here, having little like stop gaps where they can funnel them into. That might not be a bad idea instead of having the full kill box type thing. I'm gonna cancel all this. 
I don't know. All right, well, let's get everybody rested up here. Actually, this episode's almost almost to 25 minutes here, so maybe it's time to wrap it up. Ugh, boy, infestation. We got to take care of that infestation next time, though, I think. Oh, look at the bugs. What do these guys even do? Whoa, holy cow. Mega spider. Ew, boy, this was looking a little bit easier before we started getting things uh, popping up in there. Genetically engineered giant insectoid the size of a bear. Designed for heavy work in combat. The chitinous armor makes it hard to kill as long as its deadly root blades make it... You know, God. Ugh, make it deadly. Oh my gosh. Alright, well we'll deal with this next time. I think that's gonna where we're gonna wrap it up. This might be the second to last episode, I think, if we have to deal with this this bug infestation next. Oh boy. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back next time to deal with an infestation. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll see you next episode. Have a good night.